Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit your photos using the Out of the Shadows presets from SleekLens.com. Now this edit comes from the recipe guide that you usually get when you order from SleekLens.com. You get a bunch of before and afters here as you can see uh, and it tells you the exact presets and brushes to use to achieve this photo. So I'm going to go ahead and use this preset guide here so you can kind of get the, the before and after here. You can kind of see what it's going to look like. So let's just concentrate on this and let's get started. All right, so we got this beach scene here and the first preset we're going to apply is again in the out of the shadows presets. So I'm just going to scroll down here. I got my sleek lens out of the shadows presets, expand those out. And we have all of these options here. And the first one we're going to apply is the out of the shadows HDR clean high dynamic range. So I'm just going to scroll down here and click that one right there. As you can see, with just one click, we have greatly improved that photo. You can see here, just the before and after, all the colors are popping out. It looks really amazing. So we could technically stop there if we wanted to. But let's keep going and see what we can get out of it. So the next preset we're going to apply is the Out of the Shadows HDR Polish Color Pop preset. So I'm just going to click that one right there. And as you can see, it changed the colors just a little bit, just to give them, uh, the colors a little more vibrance, a little more saturation. So the next one we're going to do is the Out of the Shadows HDR Tint slash Tone Oversaturate. So I'm just going to scroll up here to that one right there, click that. And as you can see, we got even more saturation on the colors. It looks really great. Everything's popping really nicely. And the last one we're going to apply is the Out of the Shadows HDR Exposure Less Highlights. All right, so I'm just going to click that one. And that brought back a little bit more detail in the sky and took a little bit more of the highlights off the waves. And that was just the edits with the presets. Now let's go and get in the brushes. And the first brush we're going to apply is the Out of the Shadows HDR Subtle Sky Definition. So I'm just going to go over here to my adjustment brush, click that. Click New and then go in the Effect tab and go up here to Out of the Shadows HDR Subtle Definition. And here is where I will paint in the uh, part, part of the sky that I want to bring out. So I'm just going to paint all the way across the sky. Um, just kind of get closely there. I don't want to take up too much of that. There we go. And now if it looks like it's a little too much, which it might be just a tad bit, I'm just going to take up the exposure. And then also take down the saturation a touch and warm it up just a little bit. And that's what the beauty is about the brushes. Even though we uh, we provide you with these great brushes, you can still adjust them a little bit to suit your needs. And the last brush we're going to apply is the Out of the Shadows HDR Water Definition. So I'm just going to click New up here, go back into my brushes, and then go down here to the Out of the Shadows HDR Water Definition. And here is where I can paint on the water to bring out a little bit more, more detail in the water here. Right around there. And if it's a little too much, which just because of the water scene, it probably is, I'm going to take down the clarity a little bit. So right there. And that is our final edited HDR photo that using the presets and the brushes. So I'm just going to click done here and just look at the before and after. You can see how amazing the difference is between the two. And it just looks, uh, looks really great. It the, makes the photo really stand out. And you can continue to do edits on this as much as you want to. Uh, but this is kind of what the recipe guide shows, and it's a really great edit. So if you want to learn more about these presets, head on over to sleeklens.com, click the For Lightroom tab, and uh, check out the presets and the brushes we have for Lightroom. They're really great, as you can see here. And we got plenty more to offer. So this is Jordan from sleeklens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.